This is one bombastic interview you don't want to miss. What's up, everyone? We have another amazing real people with real stories. And we actually have quite a surprise towards the end of this real talk. So don't go anywhere because it's going to get gypsy. Uh, so welcome, Scott, to my platform. And now Scott is, this is Scott Everson. He has interviewed me for his channel. He's got quite a big following in the uh, sort of meat base sphere. He used to be a full on carnivore, but then he ran into some problems. And I know some of you carnivore newbies think that everything's just, you know, just sunshine and roses and, and, and fairies running around, but it's not that simple. So Scott, can you give us sort of a, um, a little brief background of what happened to you and uh then we'll we'll start going later into what we're planning to do down the road but go for it yeah i'll, I'll make it pretty brief because you know <laughs> it's it's been a long long road and i you know it'll probably bore people to death if i go into every single detail uh basically it all started with antibiotics um i really think that was the beginning of it back in 2005 and uh i i haven't quite ever been the same since um you mean your health problems started with antibiotics yeah i just couldn't handle foods as well uh ever since then and it's, it's, i mean it's been what almost 20 years now and i i never had any food sensitivities before that like nothing but i would i would eat vegetables like if i ate too many vegetables or I ate fruit or whatever my stomach would, would blow up a little bit but you know, it was never like a, a massive issue. It wasn't like it's was something that like was annoying to live with, but crap didn't really hit the fan until I started taking psychotropic drugs. Uh, this was back in 2017. Um, I was under some very stressful situations in my life and I started taking a benzodiazepine. Uh, I started taking SSRI and then that's when everything sort of fell off the rails, you know? Um, and uh, I mean, so many conditions i mean i it's so hard to say what what is what exactly what, what caused everything obviously i had severe leaky gut histamine intolerance mast cell activation to the point where i was down to like four foods i couldn't eat anything like i would you eat lost a, a ton of weight as well oh my god yeah well if you know i look like a guy now who does your taxes believe it or not guys i used to be not like quite a badass like stephanie but that's what i'm in i had a fitness studio i, I have a fitness studio in canada and I used to weigh 80 pounds heavier than I do now. Like I, I lost weight. I lost all my muscle. Like I, I, my muscles completely atrophy. Like I look like, you know, like I was in a concentration camp or something. And, um, you know, I just had so many food intolerances. I had malabsorption. I couldn't eat anything. Histamine, like just crazy. And I didn't know what to do. And, um, it got so bad that, you know, I was trying all these different protocols, empty my bank account. Literally, I, I can't even the amount of money I've spent trying to heal myself over the years, literally tens of tens of thousands of dollars. I know a lot of people can relate to me out there. The, but, to be honest, Scott, there's a lot because I do consultations with people and they think they are the worst. I'm like, to be honest, you're too common. This extreme mass cell activation, extreme reactions to food you are not alone yeah you know so so crap really hit the fan um like a, like a couple years ago and i decided to go carnivore and i was i was pretty strict about carnivore and uh a lot of stuff got better a lot of stuff got a lot better actually for a little while for a little while and then lo and behold about I don't know. It was probably about four months in a carnivore. It wasn't that long, you know? I think I kind of got, you know, I think carnivore can be great for a lot of people. I mean, it, and it really depends on your condition, right? I'm not trying to bash on carnivore, but it's definitely not this kind of, you know, one size fix all 
thing that you know is sort of conveyed online like you re- hear all these stories of like i went carnivore and all my autoimmune conditions went away in a week and you know everything's went, went away I'm, i no longer have ms and blah 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 and it's like i i i was probably like 50 percent there for the first few months and then after that the wheels kind of fell off again um the the histamine stuff actually got started getting worse for some reason like just out of nowhere it, it was just like it was basically one week i felt pretty good not amazing but i felt better than i had in the last few years and then the next week all of a sudden i'm like reacting to beef and i'm reacting to lamb and i can't eat tallow and i can't eat this i can't eat that like my my i couldn't take fat anymore and i it was just terrible I, it it was such a low because then i couldn't even rely on meat anymore it's like what the hell do i eat so but isn't this so important you just broke down the fact fact that you did carnivore and you had some benefits you were like whoa because you know everybody who who's going into carnivore who's got like michaela peterson or you've got these extreme reactions the way it's presented online it's like the miracle and then after a while you start having the same reactions to meat and the meat fat exactly um yeah i i and again you know as to why some people start getting reactions and some why some people don't i mean you're way more of an expert in that field than i am i don't know um i i think that carnivore from what i've seen is could be a huge relief for a lot of people especially if you have like autoimmune conditions i've talked to a lot of people with autoimmune conditions they do really well with it whatever they heal losing weight i mean if you Uh, right i Scott, I completely disagree. I think that people have all these major benefits and they ignore the pitfalls. Yeah, right? well, no, that's have, true. Yeah. Start, was, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, but, sorry. I was just saying that, um, you know, but then there's some people who, who it's like, it's like, it's almost like you're worse than after a while, you become worse than you were at your baseline because then I couldn't tolerate meat anymore. And here's where the problem really got bad. And People started saying I have an eating disorder because I was so skinny. This is when I really started to lose weight like crazy because then I couldn't eat meat anymore. So I'm like, well, what the hell do I eat? I, I just gave up at that point. I'm like shoveling rice down my mouth, just doing vegetables, fruit. I'm like, I don't even care anymore. I, and it was just to the point where every day I was just so deathly ill, right? So, so sick. That's when I asked uh, for Stephanie's help. And I've been through a million practitioners before that. All, I'm sorry, all full of crap. All of them, all of them. I'm, I'm going real talk here. And I could tell you one thing about Steph. D- agree with her on, on whatever or not, Stephanie keeps it real. There's no BS with Stephanie. She's going to give you the real goods. She's actually looking out for your best interest. And she is extremely rare in this field of people that actually do that, that you could trust. Because I seriously, this this field, I find it disgusting, disgusting. People rook you for everything you have, give you every protocol. Everything made me worse, by the way. Nothing made me better, right? Like everything they were telling me. In fact, I even went, I did. I was so desperate. I went vegan for a few weeks. And oh my God, that is the worst I've ever felt in my entire life. My face was like a beat, man. One of my symptoms is rashes. Like, I, and that's one of my least caring symptoms. I don't care, care less about my skin. It's the mental stuff, the the stomach, everything else. But my face, I was like walking around and it got so bad. I was having to cake my face in that steroid cream because it was my face was burning off. Like I couldn't even sleep from it anymore when I went vegan. It was, it was, it was horrid. It was horrid. And um I started getting, you know, I started, so coaching with Stephanie, things started getting a little bit better over time, but it was slow, you know, there was a lot. And I, I, I really think that, uh, to be honest with you, when I look back on it, I really think one of my root causes beyond the psychotropic drugs, beyond the outbox and all that is just, I had this never ending cycle of stress and I was not dealing with it well at all. Stress is the most overlooked causing all this everyone's looking for a bottom-up approach no one's looking for a top-down approach ever because it doesn't sell it's like oh you got to relieve stress well how do you do that there's no supplement there's not there's nothing that's going to help you you got to deal with that you got to take responsibility for that right there's no quick fix you're not just going to heal overnight when you know and and i don't want to bore your audience to that so i started getting no no no. this is like one of the most powerful talks 
I've ever had with anybody. And I've had a lot of talks with people. This is awesome. Well, I appreciate that. But yeah, yeah. well, I, I might bore your audience to death now. I'm just going to keep it very brief, though. But I started doing this uh, research on brain retraining. Some people call it limbic system training, whatever. And it's basically where you're, you know, you've dealt with stress for so long that your your body becomes so hypervigilant, your nervous system so overregulated that you're constantly in a state of fight or flight. It's this very primitive nervous system, like like hell. And it, it just keeps you locked into illness. Like you, you know, when you constantly have stress, you're constantly uh, inflamed. You know, it's impossible to get rid of the inflammation. It's impossible to detox, right? You're, you're, and they say rest and digest. How are you supposed to, how are you supposed to digest anything when you're like this all the time? You're shaking <laughs> on the inside and you're like, oh shit, you know, like literally, uh, you know, your alarm goes off and you jump out of your chair. Like that's how I was, you know? How are you supposed to digest your food when you're like that? You, you can't. Yeah, you can't. It's impossible, right? You can't. Yeah, everything, like your whole, everybody, people don't understand everything's connected. So if you're dealing with stress and you have prior inflammation, it's just like, it's just like train wreck happening over and over and over again, especially when you don't know what to do. Exactly. You're desperate. And then all these people are like, oh, it's so easy. You just do this and that. And it's, a, it's an easy fix. And to your testament, it is not. Yeah. So when I started coaching with Steph and she's teaching me about all this lifestyle stuff, she's teaching me about diet. She's teaching me about histamine and mast cell stuff, like how to overcome that, how to overcome it with diet, how to come. And, and Stephanie told me like, and I, I never really took it to heart that much, but she's like, Scott, you, you got to calm the F down. Like you need to deal with your stress somehow. Um, I don't think you'd ever told me about limbic training, but that's something that's one avenue that I took that really resonated with me. You did. And, uh, and when I started incorporating everything you taught me with the lifestyle diet type stuff, the histamine, how to deal with it. And I incorporated the brain retraining on top of that to calm my nervous system down. Like everything started to get a lot better. But the the thing is i learned over time is that there's no quick fix right this isn't the type of thing where you're sick look i've been sick for 20 years so i'm sorry but most people when you know i don't even believe a lot of the stories anymore just because i've been on this end you know i don't have like a massive youtube following but you know i got like 10,000 subs i you know i i have interviewed a lot of people and I'll be honest, you've interviewed you. almost everybody. So even yeah. though to me, it's not about the numbers, because now at this juncture, you've really, really saturated yourself in this reality. Yeah, and, I've, I've interviewed know. a lot of people, man. I could tell you right now that and I'm just being real talk. Like Stephanie knows me. I don't I don't really beat around the bush too much. Sometimes I do. But I would say I'm not going to put an exact percentage, but there's definitely a good number of people out there that aren't giving you the straight goods right? They're not telling you everything. They're making everything look rosy. And on camera, they're like, Oh, man, I'm Superman. I'm so great, blah, blah. And then like off camera, they're like, Oh, my kidneys hurt my my knees hurt. I feel the brain fog. I'm like, yo, I'm like, this isn't like I've even deleted some interviews off my channel because I'm like this. None of this is real. Like you're just trying to pull stuff. Remember carnivore yogi, she was like, she was growing so fast. And she did this interview with me, kind of like you did a while back ago. And she was just trending. And then behind the camera, like when we spoke personally, she's like, I have kidney pain. My thyroid's flaring up. I gain, I'm gaining a bunch of weight. I feel terrible. I have back pain. And um, I was like, it's this, 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 and this. But yeah. on camera, she wasn't. Now, at that juncture, she started telling people more of the truth. But before that, as her channel was completely skyrocketing, she never mentioned all those health problems. Yeah. And that's that's the thing. Like it's it's like they could say technically, oh, well, technically, I'm not lying because I'm not saying that I don't have the health problems. But I, I mean, it's it's such a gross way of 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 like doing business online. You're just like admitting like everything <laughs> like you're not you're not telling like, you know, what I mean, you're not you're just leaving everything out. Right. Yeah. And, um, cherry picking. So, well, that's the thing, right? So I started this carnivore lion channel, uh, to detail my, my journey on carnivore. And then when I started saying like, oh shit, things are falling off the rails. Like all of a sudden I had this like mass exodus from my channel 
even though I think I think carnivore has its time and place. I think carnivore can be great for so many different conditions, so many people. I'm Absolutely. not saying carnivore is bad. That's the whole thing. I'm 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 meat based. I have most of my diet, I'd say 80 something percent meat. Okay. The same That's as me. Right. Sometimes it's 99%, but I yeah. don't discount other foods. Yeah, exactly. Right. So like for dinner tonight, I had, I had a pork chop, I had a bit of salmon and a little bit of cabbage, you know, just on the side kind of thing is like garnish, you know, that's it. But people were absolutely crap. People were emailing me. People are writing in the comments. I had this mass exodus from my channel. I wasn't even saying they mean about it. I was just talking about my story and how I, my, my wheels were falling off being on the diet, you know? And I, I had a lot of people also email me saying, Oh my God, me too. It hit me at the four month mark, just like you. All of a sudden I couldn't go to the bathroom anymore. All of a sudden I couldn't tolerate anything anymore, you know? And I tried re-adding foods back in and things got even worse. I like foods I could tolerate before, like, like a, a little bit of white rice or something. I could even eat white rice. Because the carbs would just kill me. I, I haven't eaten carbs in months, right? Or so. they'd have a histamine response. See, the thing is, Scott, I didn't have problems for five years. So when people are like, I've done this for three years and I'm amazing. I'm like, just give it time. That's all. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I anyways, that I want to keep it brief, but that's pretty much my story in a nutshell. That was an awesome story. So, like, we talked about doing this. Uh, a long time ago, I'd like to do another talk later down the line where you can go more into depth, but I know you do have to go. So uh, one thing, the surprise that I want you guys to hear about is that Scott is putting on like the coolest, like nobody does this stuff. They do these, a lot of people who do, basically it's a retreat, but it's not just a retreat. You're going there to learn and you're going there to let your stress go. So he's, he, he already did one and I assume Scott, you're doing this because of your own journey. You're trying to go out there and, and get people to have that good sort of like positive association with making massive changes in their life and they just need some guidance. So why are you putting on this retreat? Yeah. Well, so before I get into that, I'll just say quickly. So Stephanie's coming. Right. Yeah. I, I couldn't do this retreat without Stephanie. OK, mm -hmm. Stephanie's coming to it. It's in Tennessee. It's in uh, late April. And also Convenient. In May. so it's actually two retreats back to back. But it's not just Stephanie who's coming. Right. We got Dr. Sean Baker. We got Dr. Kiltz. We got Sally Norton, Courtney Luna. Oxalate woman, by the Oxalate way. Woman, yeah, you guys yeah. didn't know. Yeah. Well, Oxalates has been a problem for me. I mean, she's very hyper focused on Oxalates, but we want to have a uh, a wide range of, of like different topics that we talk about. Uh, we got, uh, Kelly Hogan's come in. Um, Dr. Kelly Ritter, Michelle Hearn. Uh, I mentioned Sean Baker, right? You did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Sean Baker. So that's awesome. Here. You guys know who Sean Baker is. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you know, we're going to get different opinions, right? There, we're going to have people who uh, are staunch carnivore, carnivore all the time. We're going to have people who are more meat based. People who are more keto or ketovore. Some people who advocate maybe more for adding some more fruit and stuff like that in their diet. Or maybe so, some people who are just low carb, high fat, because there are some people whose gallbladders are so jacked up in hypoglycemia, they cannot do carnivore, not right now. So they need an alternative to keep progressing with their health. So you're yeah. covering everything that's, that's meat based. It's not just carnivore. Yeah. And, and we're going to have a, a crap ton of fun. Like, like I love it. So we're, we're going this regenerative tour close, a uh, uh, farm close by. We're doing a tour of that. We source all of our food from them. It is the best food you, you'll ever have. It's the coolest place in the world. Um, and we're going to be doing some hiking and playing some really cool, like different types of games and stuff like that. So it's just a lot of fun. But, you know, the biggest thing I get out of this is the connections. I know it sounds cheesy, sounds cliche, but it's so f amazing to me how you can make such a close connection with somebody in a span of five days. Because each retreat's four nights, five days. Literally at the end of our last retreat, there were people who were crying because they didn't want to leave the group. You know, I'm like, you've known these people for five days and you're well, crying as you're there's leaving. There's so many people that like they're alone in the community where they're at. So, you know, their spouse or their friends think that they're crazy for doing this sort of like cutting out all the carbs, like the processed standard American diet. 
Uh, so there's that community of sense with this type of retreat. It's more uh, intimate in the sense that no one's going to be left out. Exactly. You're, exactly. But you, you forgot about the actual talks because that's yeah. a big part of this. Well, so I just say one thing about that, though, just to touch on that is that, you know, a lot of times you go to these like different expos and conventions and there's like thousands of people there. And like, you know, you might be a big fan of Stephanie or Sean Baker or or, or Kelly Hogan or whoever. And it's like you see them, you get a picture with them. You maybe get to ask one quick question. They might say hi to you, but that's it. Like here, it's it's going to be a relatively small number of people. There's going to be probably about 30 guests per retreat. And you're going to be able to hang out with these people. Like Sean Baker is staying with us for, for four days, right? So you get to hang out. You get to ask some questions. You get to talk to them about your life or whatever, you know? So that's a cool thing about it. So to me, this is like the ultimate healing experience. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. And you're going to learn to live optimally and and everything. So it's great. Anyway, so I want, No, <laughs> no, I, I want to pull up the website. <laughs> Let me pull up yeah. the website so you guys can take a look at it. Um, and you can describe what I'm going to show. Hmm, sure. Okay. Yeah. So that was our first retreat. We had uh, Lily Kane there and Bryce. Uh, if you guys could see that, that's the Smoky Mountains, man. If you've never been Look to Smoky that. Mountains, it, 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 it's the most beautiful, serene, like it, it's like heaven. Like I can't even imagine how beautiful it was. It's it's absolutely amazing. We were there in the fall time. It was great. It's supposed to be amazing there in the in the spring as well. So those are our guests. We got Lady Carnivory there, Robert Kiltz, Audrey Coleman, Sean Baker, Stephanie. I know you hate that picture, but I yes, so please bad. change that piece picture. There was a my beautiful self when I was a little bit more <laughs> handsome. Uh, we got Jennifer Bo uh, Burns, who's right below you. Ah, it's not so bad. Come on. So Jennifer, uh, right? Oh, Serena Music. I can't forget about her. I absolutely adore her. She is one of the nicest, most sincere people on the planet. Absolutely love her. She's like my mom. Awesome. Um, Don't you know, know her, but awesome. Much rich. Courtney Luna. Courtney Luna's done a great job with her her weight loss journey. Um, and uh, she's she's kind of stalling right now, but she's kind of looking for ways to to keep making progress she's, on carnivore. She's going to talk to Steph. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. And then Michelle Hearn, um, she's been on a bunch of, she's on Ken Berry's channel recently. She wrote a book called Diet's Dilemma. She also wrote a kid's book. And she's really chill. She's awesome. So, um, so yeah, we're going to have do all sorts of classes. So Stephanie's going to go kind of do like a tell-all class. Stephanie knows so much about so many different things, right? Sally's the type of person that you want to go to. If you have a ox serious oxalate problem, the best person to go to for that is Sally. She knows everything mm -hmm. to, there is to know about oxalates. But the thing is with Stephanie, she knows everything about everything, <laughs> right? I do. <laughs> she does. She, you have such a diverse range because you work with thousands of people and you've been, you're an OG. You've, you've been doing this forever. Long time. Forever. Long, and, long time. Exactly. And and she is literally old school gangster. Like Stephanie will give you straight goods. There's no BS. There's no, you know, salesman talk or anything like that. I appreciate that so much. So much when I when I first we're gonna be playing some air hockey stuff, hundred percent. Uh Definitely. that was a, a picture from our last retreat. Look at that. Look how pretty that is, you guys. Come on. Look at that. Like, how could that not be healing, right? Like, just looking at that, like, made me feel good. Absolutely. So, so it'll be anyway. in the spring, and the weather will be beautiful. It'll be like, because I live in Tennessee. This It's in Tennessee in the Smoky Mountains. So it'll be just the most perfect, magical time to come. Yeah. Absolutely. So April 26th to April 30th is the first one. And then April 30th to May 4th. Um and yeah, we're running out of tickets. If you guys want, use the code. Uh, what code did I give you? Stephanie 100? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Use the code Stephanie 100 to get $100 off. Oh, wow. That's really good. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Um, I uh, This is his second one. I think that Scott is taking on something really, really big. And I really love the fact that it's a retreat where you can actually, like you said, make these intimate connections, but actually learn something because that's the point. You want to relax, but you also want to learn something. So there's a lot of good people here 
to get something from. If I'm not your cup of tea, then maybe Kelly would be your cup of tea. She's had a yeah. huge weight loss journey. And then of course, Sean has been, he's an OG in this field and knows a lot. So um, some of the people I don't know, but I will get to know them once we get there. Uh, but yeah, this is it. So this was a surprise. And I was talking to Scott and I was like, let's jump on. I've been wanting to do a real people, real talk. And then let's talk about the retreat. So if you guys are interested, go to the website. Uh, I guess I'll put it in the uh, show notes. That'll go yeah, directly he, to this page. And yeah. he has started um, brain training. So that's why he, what was your name before? Carnivore what? Uh, the carnivore lion. The carnivore lion. So yeah. obviously he's trained, changed this whole thing and has become more meat based. And now he's trying to to um, get into other aspects of health, thank God, instead of just relying on meat because you cannot just fix your body with meat alone, contrary yeah. to popular belief. Oh, 100%, yeah. So it's called Wire for Healing. So we, we're, we you know, we sort of incorporate a lot of different holistic practices, but the main thing that we do is um, is the brain retraining. And uh, we're seeing a lot, of, a lot of benefits, a lot of people from the carnivore space coming to us actually um that were really stalling in their progress or, or falling behind um or just not really getting anywhere they go carnivore and they're like i don't feel any different mm. and um I, you know we have this one lady who, who'd been sick for a long time she started doing the brain retraining and was seeing amazing amazing progress pretty recently so we've had some really great stories out there um and my, myself included so i'm not saying this will be the fix for you like it really depends on your condition but if stress is one of your conditions and you've been chronically ill for a long time um, and you have that vicious cycle of just constantly being stressed out and flamed and, you know, everything's not working properly, then this could be one of one of the avenues that might might help. It's, as, it's, as, yeah, as no, well I think as it's, coaching with Steph. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think it could be an avenue. I know it will be. So, uh, I mean, I'm coming and I believe in what you're doing. I'm grateful for what you're doing. Uh, it's not that many people. I, I see. I relate to Scott because I also do things like you guys know. I'm doing a, a 30 day challenge, and it's really, really hard to organize these things when you start off small, right? You don't have a big company and machine behind you to put something together. But that's what makes it so intimate. It's not. It's not a corporate affair. And uh, I really highly suggest you guys go to the site, check it out, and come come to the retreat did how many days is each um retreat uh four nights four nights five days four nights five days yes if people have questions what should they do about should they contact uh, you or yeah, just go to just go to wiredforhealing.com uh go to the contact page or you can just do scott at wiredforhealing.com say it uh, slower so people can write it down how they can what's reach that? you what's that you said wired for healing oh, what uh Scott at wiredforhealing.com and it, it's uh the number four, so wiredforhealing.com. Or you it's, just go to the wired for healing website, wired number four healing.com and just go to the contact page. And you'll or see do you have retreat. a do you have What's a direct that? email for this? Uh yeah, yeah. Well, there's uh for the for the retreat, no. So you could just do okay. Scott at wiredforhealing.com or you just go to the contact page, info at wiredforhealing.com. Or Jennifer or whatever, yeah. So. Oh, so here's contact on the corner here, as you guys can yeah. see. Yeah, there you go. Right there. Yep, yep. So yeah, I think yeah. this will be. I think this will be really, really cool. I've never done one this big before, um, with like two back to back like this. So it is a little stressful. Um, it's a lot stressful. Yeah. So, but uh, you know, it is what it is, and uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying meeting everybody. And I got to say, you know, as much as I, I was saying before, like, you know, there are some pretty not so fun people to deal with. And in, in I guess like the influencer space or whatever, like I've met the most incredible people and, and you being one of them. Thank but you. like it's it, and honestly, it's meeting the people that I've met in the last few years on in the carnivore space. Like it's maybe not regret this whole experience, you know, no. I, I, I become a much stronger person. I have way more appreciation for life now. I've met the most incredible people that I never would have met had I not gone through this. So for those of you who are actually dealing with absolute hell right now, you got mass cell hell going on. You feel like you're dying. I totally get it. But <laughs> at the end, when you do get better and you find the fix for you, it afterwards, you're going to be grateful for having gone through it. 
don't let that go to waste. Actually know that you're on the path that you should be on because there's some reason why you're on this path and it's going to make itself obvious to you in, in, in the, in the after effect. And if you, if you use that to your advantage and you're grateful for it, it, it changes everything. So I, it really makes me sad when people go through a uh, chronic illness like that and they wish they could take it all back and they, you know, it's like, they just want to forget about it. They, you know, it's, it's such a character building experience. It's changed my life and I'm so grateful for it. Absolutely. You're either going to sink or you're going to swim. The people who really want to improve their lives will never give up. Yeah. And that's you for sure. Cause your, your story is really, really hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Guys keep watching, keep watching Stephanie. Um, her channel's legit. She's real. She's the same person on camera as she is off camera. And I know. I do, I do, <laughs> she gives me crap a lot and I deserve it, you know? No, 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 no. What he's saying is like, you know, he's, he's working so hard. So the crap would be, you got to get your stress down. Like don't internalize the stress. Oh, and well, that, and, that's what I mean. Well, that's, that's what I mean. Or if I like really fall off the rails with my thinking or my lifestyle stuff or diet, like, you know, she, she's on my case, right? There's no like kid gloves. And I appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you. No, there's no so. I can't stand when people say so in front of us. <laughs> well, Thank you. I'm just I'm just looking forward to meeting you in person. It'll be great. I know we've never met in person, but we will because I'll be Stephanie in person. Um, okay, awesome. Like you guys, he said, uh, go to the website. Um, it's it's uh, wait, what's it called again? <laughs> Wired for healing. Wired for healing. Yeah, four yeah, with the number retreat. four. Slash That's retreat. Yeah. Slash retreat. Yeah. Um, uh, can he, can people find you any other way? You have your YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. yeah. You go to my YouTube, channel. Uh, YouTube channel is wired for healing. Uh, just the, again, wired number four healing. Um, what else can you find? I mean, I'm sort of on Instagram. I, I hate social media. I'm not a social media guy, but, uh, but I will answer your messages. If you go to Instagram wired for healing official, and if you message me, I'll answer on there too. So, but at least you have a lot of good interviews. There's the some the the one you did with uh, it was it, it was his name Seafried the cancer guy. Oh, Seafried, yeah, yeah. You and I did one with him. I did. Yeah. I've done a couple with him his, now. His name is trending a lot right now uh, with people who are dealing with cancer, and you know his ideology is it's not inherited through your genetics; it's created through epigenetics through how you treat your life as your you know, how you live and, and not just your mother had cancer. So you would also have cancer and he's using ketogenic protocols. So that was a cool inter like interviews like that and other things you guys can go check out over there. Uh, and I think that's it. Cause I'm about to edit this biatch. All right. If Thank you. you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com, book a consultation like Scott did. He did a couple times actually. Um, get ready for my challenge. So he's going to have his retreat. I'm going to have an online challenge. And people are, are saying like, where are the signups? I'm like, not yet. Let me finish the damn thing. So I can relate to Scott with how stressful it is to put on a big event. But yours is in person, so it's even more stressful. But uh, with that said, thank you. And I'm going to uh, put you in the green room. So if you want to exit yourself, if, if you have anything last to say, and then we're going to remove yourself and then we'll say good night and we'll be done. Uh, no, good to go. Follow my channel so I don't talk to myself. I'd appreciate that. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Bye. All right, guys. So that's it. I've been wanting to do, people are so shy to go on camera. And I really love the fact that Scott's been through so much and he's not shy to go on camera and tell a story. It's the long version of that is super interesting. So go to his his word for healing with the number four. Cause before I was, I was Googling F O R and you won't find it. You'll find other stuff. So make sure that there's a four in between, but yeah, pretty damn fucking freaking. Sorry. Did I say flucking? Oops. Pretty fucking awesome. All right. Energy at 56. Yo, I'm be 57 soon. Then 58. Hopefully it'll stop raining so we can start building my house and I'm out. 
my Instagram is Stephanie Ketogenic. My Facebook fan page is Stephanie the Business Person. You can sign up for a consultation at stephanieperson.com. And my course, you can also sign up where I cover all three diets because not everyone can do carnivore or keto. You can sign up at stephanieperson.com. And we out because now I got to edit this video. Peace.